Hopkins and this is I'm Kate Dean. We're so excited to be involved with the My Story residencies at Watford and Hell Hempstead. Okay, so we're just going to introduce you today to the Indian handcraft wooden blocks and how you do simple printing with them. They're the most wonderful things to use. They sit so nicely in your hand and they make beautiful patterns. So I'm just going to show you a simple all over pattern on this painted card. For printing you use a soft mat underneath so that gives you um, some nice cushioned surface so that the blocks work really well. So underneath we use funky foam of some sort just to give ourselves an extra cushioned surface. We use a sponge, this is just a car sponge and some acrylic paint and dab it onto your palette. Dab it all over your wood block and you can see from the wood block how well it picks up all of the patterns. And then you just start printing. I'm going to do a very random print. So this is how fabrics and um, all kinds of artifacts have been printed for hundreds of years in India. So in a later video, we're going to show you how you can draw into these images to make them even more beautiful and even more special. So I'm going to continue printing, but I'm going to use a block and place it separately so that you can see how you use two different designs alongside each other with different colours. So I'm going to start with white, not pressing too hard, not putting too much on or too little, and just very gently pressing down and then lifting up slightly to the left or to the right so that you don't lift straight up. I'm going to do a pattern, half drop pattern. You're building up a design that would be an alternate, like a brick pattern. And each of these blocks have been hand carved, which is unbelievable. So the intricacy and the detail of every single design you see, somebody has actually used a delicate tool and they've carved in, having done a drawing first on usually teak wood, and then carved out the negative to leave the, leave the, the raised piece, which is the piece that takes the, the ink. So these would have been used for decorating papers, for wallpapers, papers for books. I'm using gold this time. And then when we fold the paper later to make a book, parts of this design can be used. You can pick up elements of it and draw them freehand, or it might be that you're going to embroider it into different sections.